very much. And right on cue, we have the co-chair of the Diversity Task Force, Congresswoman Barbara Lee. Good morning. First of all, uh, let me thank you all for, for being here and more importantly what, what you're doing each and every day on behalf of inclusion and on behalf of really ensuring that, that this industry becomes an industry that reflects this great country on all fronts. And I want to thank our chairman. Uh, you can't know what you said in your comments, but I just have to first say uh, this, this chairman is a visionary, he's bold, he has taken this on in a big way, and I just have to thank you for that. Silicon Valley is right next door to my district, and for years and years and years, my constituents have really felt the brunt of not being able to break through in terms of the workforce, in terms of supplier diversity, in terms of board representation, all of the issues of inclusion I've had to deal with for many, many years, and my constituents have really felt the, the direct uh, results of lack of inclusion. And so, Chairman Butterfield, you, you really have helped not only the entire country and the tech industry and, and our people throughout the United States, but my district in particular is very grateful for the Black Caucus's leadership. And I also just have to um, say in his absence, uh, with regard to Reverend Jackson and Rainbow Push Coalition, they really focused on the economic sector where inclusion and diversity, again, unfortunately, where that's been an afterthought. He's constantly in my area, you know, working with the tech companies. And this inside-outside strategy is, is beginning to gain some traction as is demonstrated by your presence and what you're doing. The, uh, I don't know if you mentioned the Level Plan Institute, their statistics, uh, but there'll be 1.4 million new tech jobs by 2020. Uh, but given the rate at which United States universities are producing qualified graduates, 70% of those jobs will go unfulfilled, 70%. So that speaks volume as to why, quite naturally, STEM education, uh, both in the tech and non-tech sectors, um, are extremely important. But also from the boardrooms uh, and the C-suite offices to HR professionals, lawyers, and entry-level coders, African Americans, um, once again, are grossly underrepresented at every level of tech companies. Make no mistake, um, this dynamic really uh, not only is it a moral imperative, but it's an economic imperative for the tech industry. And so I just want to applaud all of you and your organizations today for carefully crafting your African American inclusion plans. Some of the companies that we visited, um, there were plans for the inclusion of women. Unfortunately, there were no African-American inclusion plans, so you stepped up. Thank you very much. Because these plans will play a great role in our broader effort to, act, uh, to address the level of diversity at every level. Also, your work to build uh, a robust pipeline of qualified STEM talent, uh, we need to do more here in Congress, though, to support these efforts. Uh, and in the Appropriations Committee and Congressman Butterfield's Committee, Energy and Commerce, every chance we get to write language in that would encourage your efforts, uh, we will do so. We have done so. And we know that we have to be sure that the policies here on Capitol Hill are such that um, you have the backing and the support of the federal government and the Congress to do this work. And so I just want to thank you again for the hard work that you're doing each and every day. I want to commend you because I know this is tough stuff, but uh, all of you have really uh, stepped up and have gone way beyond the call of duty, and we really appreciate having you here. And I uh, just want to thank Congressman Butterfield once again for his leadership with the Congressional Black Caucus, but also for charting a new course for the CBC on behalf of the African American community. Thank you again.